So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over some of the best ways to export. People ask me this a lot. Instagram tends to reduce the quality of whatever you upload. So you got to make sure. So to get around this, you can you can edit your image to meet the requirements for the different platforms you're going to be uploading it to. So to export, you're going to come down to the bottom right corner and click this button here. You're going to click custom export. And here you can change the settings for the export. You can change the image size. You can also change the file type. You can even make GIFs. You can change the frame rate all the way up to 60 frames per second. You can change the codec if you know what that is. Um, otherwise, just don't mess around with that. You can change the quality and you can change the duration of the loop. So exporting it how it is now will be completely fine and you'll get the image exactly in the same format as how you created that animation. But say you wanted it to be specific for a different platform, specifically Instagram, you can go to Google for whatever platform it is you're going to be using and type in the resolution size. So Instagram resolution size. You can see here that Instagram recommends that you export in 1080p by 1080p. Um, for the square size and it also has the dimensions for the different sizes So Plotograph has made it a little bit easier for you by actually adding presets here Instagram landscape IG vertical Google plus Facebook covers you can actually have animated Facebook covers for business pages as long as it's about three seconds Facebook covers Google plus You can export in 4k HD all of the settings you have here So say I'm going to export a vertical image to Instagram. I'm going to set it to vertical. I'm going to drag it over. Go to export, custom export. Usually when I click export, I'll leave it at the exact same thing because if your video is too high of a quality, Instagram will reduce it regardless and also reduce it to be 30 frames per second. So you can go ahead and set it to 30 frames per second out the jump so you don't have to worry about any compression. You click export, it says done, continue to, and you will click my exports to go to the next page to actually download your video. And you'll wait here on this page until it says complete, and then you can click the download icon to actually download your video. So the next thing, how do you get it to your phone or your device? My preferred method is using iCloud Drive. After my video is downloaded, I can simply click and drag it into the page and it will be uploaded and I can just go to the app on my phone and download it directly to my hands. The next option you can use is Dropbox. If you are aware of Dropbox, it's also very similar. You can click, drag your file into the folder, click upload and go to its respective app on the App Store or Google Play Store and download it directly to your phone. The third option is Google Drive. Google Drive is the exact same way. You go into Google Drive, click and drag your file into the space and go to the app on your phone and you will see it on your device. So those are the three best ways to export it to your phone as well as your basic ways to crop and edit. <laughs>